Hey everybody, this is Sonia Swan bringing you an oily tip for the day. And this oily tip is about making a bedtime spray. Hopefully these oily tips will help you use your oils very economically because we're gonna use very little oil in a lot of water. So this is the bottle that I like to use. This is a blue bottle and it's glass. You can also use a brown bottle. You can get these from Life Science Publishing or Abundant Health for You. They're two places that give you some oily extras that are very fun. So what you're gonna do is fill this up with water. You are gonna unscrew the cap and you're gonna to wanna to cut, you see this right here? Can you see that spot on the bottom? Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to cut this to the length of the bottle and then you're gonna to wanna to add your, oil, your essential oils. So the essential oils that we like that are our favorite are um, Peace and Calming, this is one of our favorites, or Peace and Calming too, and that really seems to do the exact same thing. We really like the smell of Peace and Calming too. And the other oil that we love to use is lavender. So these are two of our favorite oils. You can mix them together if you like, or you can do them just individually. And you only need maybe three or four drops, if even that, in this whole big thing of water. And then you're also going to want to add um, a drop of dish soap. So this is Thieves dish soap. You can use any natural dish soap or a quarter teaspoon of Epsom salt and just drop it right in here, just one little drop. Beep, that's all you need. And that's gonna help emulsify the oils into the water, right? So we're gonna shake this up. We're gonna screw it on first. And then we're gonna shake this up. And then you can spray whatever you like. See the fine mist there, can you see that? Isn't that lovely? So it do, there doesn't use very much. So what you're gonna do is you're going to spray your bed pillows, you can spray the room, um, anything that you wanna spray. You can even spray your clothes like you do with your outdoor spray. You can actually spray it on you so that you can smell it. Um, this is just a lovely way to use your oils very economically. The other two oils that we love to use, this one is called Dreamcatcher. This is one of my children's favorites. And um, you can see this lovely blue bottle and we love to mix orange with this. I don't know why, we just like Dreamcatcher and orange. So this is one of our nighttime sprays is Dreamcatcher. And then if you've had a really difficult day and you've been around a lot of negative people, this might be something you wanna to add to your uh, um, nighttime spray is White Angelica, um, just to kind of help repel some of that negative energy that you might've been exposed to during the day. Now. Don't put an oil on that you don't like the smell of at nighttime because it's gonna be disrupting to your brain and it's gonna make it very hard for you to sleep. So I don't like the smell of lavender, believe it or not. And so I don't use lavender. I use Peace and Calming, I use Dreamcatcher, um, and White Angelica on occasion. <clears throat> but if you enjoy the, the smell of lavender, then go ahead and use lavender. I'm just saying if you, if you don't, it's gonna be disruptive to your sleep. So I, I do use lavender when I need to. I just don't use it in my nighttime spray on a daily basis. So hopefully you enjoyed this oily tip. We'll be back soon with more.